advice for performing arts students here who might feel like they're stuck or they're never gonna get the role? Oh yeah, I can go on and on. Um, you know, one thing that's been kind of running through my mind lately is the problems of the business don't change. Or, no, I'll go back. The problems don't go away, they just change. So like 10 years ago, I moved to LA, I barely had an agent. I'm like, how the hell am I gonna do anything? And now I have a whole different set of problems. There's like, when is my next job? Or like, you know, there's so many levels to this. And the one thing I would say is, um, try as much as possible, and I struggle with this to this day, to let it unfold. Because if you're three steps ahead of it, you're gonna miss all of the great things that are happening in that moment. You'll never be 25 again. You'll never be 30 again. Uh, you'll never be 24 again, I don't know. Um, so yeah, you, you will get it. It's maybe not gonna be on your timeline. It certainly wasn't on my timeline. Um, and I get really impatient and it still happens to me. I mean, I was just telling Seth about it. We had lunch today, I was like, what am I gonna do? You know, like the problems just change. Um, but if you can like have a little perspective and think to yourself, oh my gosh, five years ago, I never thought I'd be at SCAD. You know what I mean? Five years ago, I was like slogging in my high school drama department or whatever, you know, and then when you're moved to New York or LA or stay in Georgia, you know, go to Atlanta and work there, um, you'll think, oh my gosh, when I was a student at SCAD, I never thought I'd be here. So just little touchstones like that are important throughout your career. And my second question for you is, um, <laughs> who are your greatest inspirations in your career? As far as acting goes, um, I, it's funny, she's in my head because I just saw that movie Tar, but Kate Blanchett, can't go wrong. I also love Oscar Isaac, who is from Miami, and I'm from Miami, and I just love that he's able to do theater and movies and TV, so he's a big inspiration for me, always has been. I've known him since I was in high school, um, and I just think, like, even people in this movie that I've seen their work for such a long time, the fact that they can stay in the business for decades and decades, like Ray Fiennes, Judith Light, Janet McTeer, John Leguizamo, you know, they've been doing it forever and they still show up with the same amount of energy, non-jadedness, and are ready to do the job. And at the end of the day, it's really just about the job. This is like the cherry on top. So my one question for you is, do you have any advice for SCAD writing students who are experiencing writer's block? Um, I'd say travel. That's my, I, whenever I travel, um, I tend to get, my brain starts to fire off ideas and just sort of take in what's going on around you and feel your experience as a traveler. And being alone and traveling, I think, does tend to unlock the brain a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. I, mean, I think my biggest inspirations are every restaurant I've ever been to where I felt intimidated to be there and where I was like amazed by the artistry on the plate. Filmmaking and food making are really similar. The high end hospitality industry is just like film. You create this artificial environment, it's temporary, you invite people to come in, and then it's sort of like a five act structure. So um, every restaurant I've ever eaten at was inspiration for this film.